Today, we're doing my second versus video, IOTA versus Railblox versus Pasco coin. Now, this is going to be fairly quick and simple, but it will allow you to gain some key information to compare all three. <laughs> Welcome YouTube to Crypto Picks. First, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. You all know I think you're awesome. Make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to come to my Discord. The link is in the description below. We're working together, having fun, and making friends. Let's get started. So let's get started with a brief explanation of each project. IOTA, it's a next generation public distributed ledger that utilizes Tangle which is a new data structure that has no blocks, no chains, and no miners. Next, we have Railblox. It's a low latency cryptocurrency built on the block lattice data structure, offering unlimited scalability and no transaction fees. Finally, Pascalcoin. This one uses a new cryptographic structure called Safebox, which allows for infinite scaling, zero confirmation transactions, simple accounts, and low fees. Now let's dig a little deep into these projects and compare their scaling, transaction fees, and their speed. First, we have IOTA. Their scaling uses paralyzed validation of transactions, which allows for no limit as to the number of transactions that can be confirmed in a certain interval. For transaction fees, there are none. And then their speed, their last stress test showed they can handle up to 1,000 transactions per second. After that, Railblock, scaling is unlimited, they use pruned nodes only to keep the latest block of each account chain, reducing lookup time and system resources. Transaction fees are just like IOTA, and there are none. And speed, they can handle up to 7,000 transactions per second. Finally, Pascal Coin. Scaling is infinite, and this is because blocks are deletable past the checkpoint height of 100 blocks. Transaction fees... Now, Pascal Coin does have a transaction fee, and we're looking at 0 0.0001 Pascal. And for speed, they can handle up to 72,000 transactions per second. So you can kind of compare the three. Now, let's give you a comparison to these of Bitcoin and Visa. For Bitcoin, scaling, super limited, only one megabyte blocks. Transaction fee, currently around $25 per transaction, and this scales with the price of Bitcoin. When Bitcoin goes up, the price of transactions also go up. Speed, Bitcoin can handle around 3.5 to 7 transactions per second, which is why some transactions take several hours. So with Visa, I'm just going to compare their speed. Since we use this daily and we can actually see in real time how quick their network is. Theoretically, they can pick up to 56,000 transactions per second, but it's usually around 2,000. Now, a super interesting part is the market cap. IOTA is sitting around $12 billion market cap. This is the top dog and obviously the goal for the other two. Now, IOTA does have some super huge partnerships with Microsoft, and it just seems they're gaining more all the time. Railblox is actually sitting around $3.3 billion market cap and has actually seen a really big drop since yesterday, hitting at $4.5 billion. And Pascal Coin, this one's, in my opinion, a sleeper. It has around $80 million market cap. So the potential, this could be maybe Railblocks 2.0. I've actually seen it a lot in some people's Twitter. I think Pascal Coin's Twitter actually retweeted someone saying, could this be Railblocks 2.0? Now the final segment, I'm going to compare all three wallets, IOTA. So first, it's their Light Wallet, which is super basic. It's their current version, but as you can see right here, their upcoming wallet is beautiful, easy to read, easy to navigate, and it's something you expect from a company that is so huge and so, and their value being so extreme. <laughs> they definitely need this. Next, Railblocks. This is a developer wallet. It gives you what you need in black and white. Pretty much bare bones interface, but it gets the job done. Hopefully they're able to do what IOTA did and bring a beautiful user-friendly wallet. And last but not least, Pascal Coin. Also a developer wallet has, it gives you what you need in black and white, but it isn't as bare bone as Railblox. Definitely could use some work making it more user-friendly and just pretty in general. So that's my versus video, IOTA versus Railblox versus Pascal Coin. You decide who won the battle. Also, if you would like to see a more detailed review of any of these coins or all of them, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.